it's often the small steps not the giant leaps that bring about the most lasting change from a keen child of a poor kulin brahmin family hailing from lonsing of faridpur district of british india now a part of bangladesh to leaving his mark as one of the most eminent researcher of all times to present on this very eminent personality today we the students of zoology department will delineate on gopal chandra bhattacharya an indian entomologist and naturalist who spent most of his career at bose institute kolkata Born on 1st August 1895, this Indian entomologist was an observer of nature since childhood. His father worked as a priest in a temple. Following his father's death when he was only 5, Gopal had to take the job of his father. He passed the matriculation examination with a first division but due to bad financial condition of his family, he discontinued his studies to take a teacher's job. He later began to work at a mercantile firm as a telephone operator. Since 1930, he contributed over a thousand articles to most of the popular Bengali periodicals of the time. The articles were science-related, which were mainly based on his research works. Though he had no conventional degree in higher education, he published his first research paper in 1932 on life events in the body of plants. He also published work on bioluminescence and other botany topics. but gradually his interest shifted to entomology once he published an article on bioluminescence in the then popular bengali periodical probashi which proved to be the turning point of his life as this attracted the ad- attention of none other than dr jagadish chandra bose who realizing his potential organized a position for him at the bose institute where he was employed basically as a technical assistant he used to repair instruments and keep them in good order and do drawings for the scientist but his innate research capabilities soon came to the fore and he began to work on his own research projects he also became an expert photographer and captured varieties of ants spiders small bats and tadpoles through his lens he published widely in journals as diverse as the scientific monthly and natural history magazine in the united states and science and culture from calcutta backed up with some superb photography these papers were unfortunately mostly published in lesser known journals and failed to attract the attention of the scientific establishment of the day His photographs of insects were unique in his day and his painstaking observation of tool making in wasp is now acknowledged to be a pioneering feat. After Dr J C Bose passed away, he was encouraged by the then director of Bose Institute Dr D M Bose to work on the effect of antibiotics on ants and tadpoles. He showed that the administration of penicillin leads to an arrest in the metamorphosis of tadpoles to frogs. This he showed was because penicillin kills certain bacteria present in the tadpoles which are essential for a smooth metamorphosis. He thus was one of the first to show the presence of salogenic that is health giving bacteria one of his major discoveries which he published in the transactions of the bose institute as early as 1940 concerned his observation with the birth of male ants or queen depending on food source he created a cellophane nest for the ants he observed that special type of food is necessary for the larva to mature into queen ants other nutrients or protein diet resulted in only worker ants he thus concluded during february to april queen ants can be seen in nests when there is certain food source like mango birds and leaves soldier ants collects the amphid that come to feed on the birds feeding the queen amphid secretes liquid called honey dew ensures smooth development into mature queen ants In 1943 he published an article based on his findings adding a strong point to a long lasting battle between genetic and trophic 
influence on ant development. Although his work was not recognized at that time, later it was regarded as the pioneering discovery. He also showed that administration of vitamin B12 accelerated metamorphosis of tadpoles to frogs. Later, he also discovered an interesting feature of earwig where they put a muddy layer on their hind legs which turned into a heavy boot when dried. They use this to kick predator to save their eggs. This phenomenon is only observed during breeding period. During that period, Gopal Chandra washed the muddy layer but was surprised to see the insect putting the muddy layer again, proving tool making and tool using in insect work. He discovered several other interesting facts about fish eating spiders and hunting wasps. Unfortunately, none of his findings were recognized at that time. His books were mainly in Bengali and thus remained unknown to the outside world of his day. In 1948, he entered another phase of his life when he teamed up with Dr. Shottendra Bose of Bose-Einstein fame to set up the Bongyo Vigyan Porishad while also being an active member of Bharat Kosh, the Bengali encyclopedia. Bongyo Vigyan Porishad's main purpose was to promote the diffusion of science and scientific knowledge using the local language and quickly became the vehicle for his remarkable talents. He now directed his energies to sign popularization as editor of the magazine Gan Obikyan. He was instrumental in popularizing the writing of scientific literature in Bengali. He worked as editor from 1950 to the 1970s. One of his monumental works was the book Banglar Kit Potungo, The Insects of Bengal, which is a collection of many of his prominent research works and observations, to date sadly untranslated, which fetched for him the Robindra Puroshkar in 1975. He had already been awarded the Ananda Puroshkar in 1968. He also published a three-volume publication, Kore Dekho. Throughout his career, he kept facing discrimination because of his lack of academic qualifications. On one occasion, another scientist even refused to share a podium with him, leveling him as an amateur. On 8th April 1981, he drew his last breath in Kolkata, West Bengal. This man of great intelligence with no proper college degree was awarded an honorary doctor of science degree by the University of Calcutta, making him an outstanding figure in the history of Bengali researchers with remarkable contributions in the field of science from India. In 2005, Government of West Bengal instituted an award for science popularization in his name, the Gopal Chandra Bhattacharya Sridhi Puroshkar. It is indeed a befitting honor, but one should not forget his pioneering research in entomology, in which he was the first in his field in India. Evidently, he was way ahead of his time, and despite immense hardship during the entire course of his lifetime, he remains true to his dedication and bestowed his knowledge on nature to the society. The impact of his knowledge from years ago continue to evoke interest to this day and influence the study trends and research work. Since most of his articles were published in Bengali, it not only advanced the opportunity of Bengal in the field of science, but also left behind discoveries yet to be introduced to the world. He was a man with myriad visions. His motto was to unravel the mystery of nature and propagate them through lucid and familiar ways so that many more Gopal Chandra can emerge from this soil.